Born on August 5, 1946, Shirley Ann Jackson would go on to have one of the most distinguished careers that spans across academia, public policy, and research. Born in Washington, D.C. to parents who strongly valued and encouraged education, she graduated valedictorian of her high school and began her college studies at MIT in 1964. After the assassination of Martin Luther King, four years later, she helped organize a group of African-American students that ultimately became the Black Student Union. The group drafted proposals to recruit more minority students, support them financially, improve their life at MIT, and hire more minority faculty members. She herself being one of less than 20 African-American students and the only one studying theoretical physics, she went on to become one of the first African-American women in the country to receive a doctorate in physics and the first to receive a doctorate from MIT in any field. With a Bachelor's of Science in Physics and a PhD in Theoretical Elementary Particle Physics, Dr. Jackson began her career as a research associate at Fermilab and then went on to work at CERN. From 1976 to 1991, she was employed by Bell Laboratories where she conducted research in the areas of theoretical physics, solid state and quantum physics, and optical physics. While still serving as a consultant to Bell Labs, Dr. Jackson went on to join the faculty at Rutgers, where she stayed for four years. In 1995, President Bill Clinton appointed her as the head of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, which she served on until 1999. On July 1, 1999, Dr. Jackson became the 18th president of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. She was the first woman and first African American to hold this position, which she still holds today. In 2009, Dr. Jackson was appointed by President Barack Obama to serve on the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology. Her fellow council member and fellow MIT graduate, Brown Physics Professor Sylvester James Gates said, It's nearly impossible to understand the full sweep of Shirley's career, from academia to government to business. She has a broad view of how science and technology can assist our country and our world. In 2016, President Obama awarded her the National Medal of Science. Dr. Jackson has been awarded 40 honorary doctorates. She was named one of the top 50 women in science by Discover Magazine and was named by Industry Week Magazine as one of the 50 most inspiring African Americans. She has received numerous awards and has been inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame and into the Women in Technology International Foundation Hall of Fame. She has also been appointed an International Fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering.